students uh, today we are going to talk about the uh, case of 28 years uh, with the secondary infertility so if you see this image uh, she has having the two parallel lines of the cervix and the uterine cavity and this is the view where we are going to try with the catheter uh, with the tvs because being uh, uh, seen that there are the acutely retroverted uterus so we won't be able to go through the cervix negotiated from the external loss but the catheter is not going inside the uterine cavity as of all of you know the et catheter tip is reached to the only to the internal loss and it is very difficult to negotiate from that internal loss into the uterine cavity as it is being uh, acutely retroverted it is difficult to pass the et catheter post internal loss due to acutely retroversion of the uterus so the idea coming into our mind what to be done in order to correct there is an angle this uh, or a two parallel lines into antiverted or a retroverted uterus where the cervix and the uterus cavity lies exactly parallel to each other and we don't have any of the catheter for that matter a sure view which will gives us a guidelines so we have come up with the solution to do a per rectal examination under anesthesia and correct this particular retroversion so my assistant she is putting her finger into the into the rectum and we are correcting the uh, canal but see we are having uh, some problem negotiating that particular glinch because she has a previous uh, section and after that because of the connective tissue disorder the fundoplication procedures has failed and we had this particular problem encountered with so um, i asked my uh, assistant to do a correction of the u of the first is a cervix and the uterine angle and we are able to pass a little bit from the internal os but we are trying our uh, level best in that procedure and somehow we found out that because of the rectal examination and the rectal uh, manipulation the cervical uh, canal and the uterine canal or the, the uterine cavity will become into the straight line and here we can all of you can appreciate uh, this is the view what we actually get and then we shifted to the transvaginal ultrasonography once the et catheter passed through the uh, through a sharp angle the tvs was performed with the catheter in situ we used a stillet for uh, uh, for a permanent looking of the catheter the inner catheter was uh, was then inserted all of you can see uh, the exactly when i remove the stillet the whole catheter can be visualized from the internal os to the uh, to the uterine cavity the tip of the catheter is very well appreciated here then the uh, inner catheter uh, i just withdraw a little bit uh, on a, on a lower side uh, the inner catheter is introduced with the embryo inside and if all of you can see this has to be checked when uh, doubly checked by doing a 3d ultrasonography this is a routinely what we do in our center and this is the way where we put the catheter with the uh, with the internal uh, inner catheter also with the inner catheter with the embryos in a view we do a embryo transfer and uh, uh, 20 to 30 microliters uh, of of the fluid is been injected with the embryos inside this is called as a sandwich technique which all of us are routinely doing it so once the uh, the inner catheter is been visualized exactly in the center of the cavity we do the embryo transfers after the embryo transfer we wait only for 10 seconds the embryo loading to the embryo um, deposition time in this case is less than 10 seconds so if you see we, our inner catheter is very well seen and with the timeline also in the same video because this is a live video what we captured and uh, the embryos in been uh, deposited exactly the 2.4 cm from the fundus and that is the area of maximum implantation as all of us are knowing we are in a habit for last so many years we take the distance and we take the uh, endometrial thickness into account and uh, this will correlate with the pregnancy rate so what we believe uh, the endometrial thickness between 8 to 9 and uh, the distance between 1.5 to 2.1 is maximum implantation occurs in that particular frame and now you can see the embryos are going to get deposited inside the uterine cavity uh, without many of the manipulation because uh, after the doing the embryo transfer uh, we must check for the inner catheter if there is a blood or not as well as we should check for the external uh, catheter as well for any uh, collection or any blood uh, on the tip of the catheter 
we use a uh, uh, cook's catheter for embryo transfer previously i was using a sure view but i think uh, the cook is a better uh, to negotiate any of the difficult embryo transfer catheter and uh, this is the final view where we deposited the embryos and we come out we check the catheter everything was excellent uh, we are waiting for the results because I, as i told to all of my friends who's uh, whosoever is joined uh, facebook and this is the uh, et catheter has been placed this is the um, still picture of it and uh, once the catheter has been uh, in the place this is the embryo transfer has been done and after the embryo transfer the inner catheter is taken out we switch over to the 3d ultrasonography we wait for maybe a count of 10 and then the inner catheter is been taken out all these things uh, are like we'll going to talk about on this 17th of february 2021 and in my group uh, which is educational group for all of us as all of you know so i want all of you to attend that thing so we'll talk we'll discuss and after the embryo transfer usually our habit i think um, my fellow she is also vouch for that we do a routinely 3d ultrasonography to know uh, whether the, uh, the actually we don't know the embryo has been placed this is the droplet or this is the acoustic things what we seen on the ultrasonography so these are the white uh, bright spot what you can see is the air is not the media and and once which has been documented we do a 3d ult ultrasonography and the scan which will tell you uh, exactly the deposition and this is the how we render the 3d views after rendering the 3d views we can come to know exactly where is the fundus and where is the this thing has been placed and uh, if you see the distance is hardly a 2.4 as i mentioned previously exactly is it is in the center of the cavity and this is how the embryo transfer in the difficult i in last 15 years 